Just a heads up before we start in this, guys. Sorry if the quality is bad. I had to upload this to YouTube beforehand and re-download it due to OBS uh, rendering in a stupid format that Vegas Pro does not recognize. Anyway, onto the video. Hopefully this helps you. Alright, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your guitar working in Clone Hero uh, if you're using a Rock Band 4 uh, Fender Stratocaster. Uh, sorry, headset cord in the way here. This one right here. Uh, so what you're going to need is you're going to need the Xbox One wireless adapter uh, for your computer. And I'm just going to plug that in ahead of time here now. Let's get that done with now. So I got that plugged in there now. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to download these files here. You need to download Windows PCAP. You need to download USP, or USB sorry, PCAP and just this download button here. And then you need to download the 3.0 version of this, not the latest version. This is where I had issues and had to look up videos and trying to find the video was impossible. You had to go into the Clone Hero Discord, then wait 10 minutes to have somebody link you a video that you could have found by searching the proper name. So I found it a waste of time. That's why I'm making this video to hopefully save some other people some time here. Uh, so yeah, all you need to do is download this here. So click on the X input support here and then guitarsniffer.exe or guitar sniffer.zip, sorry, and then download it to your desktop. I already have everything downloaded, but all you're going to want to do is you just want to extract it to a separate folder. I just made a sniffer folder on my desktop here, and I extracted it in here. And then once you have everything downloaded and installed, like uh, all the previous files first, make sure you install them all in order. I'm not sure if it matters, but I'd suggest just doing it that way. Uh, then you just run the guitar sniffer, and either it'll say Xbox One adapter found, or it'll have a bunch of spam going on. So right now I don't have my guitar on, so I'm gonna turn on my guitar real quick. So the lights flash in there now. So I'm gonna hit the button on my wireless adapter on my controller, or on my uh, USB, and then hit that one there. And then have it go until it connects. Any second here. Salt. There we go. All right, so now we're synced, and as you can see in the packet thing, it's going fucking crazy. Now, don't mind that. Now, you just need to leave this open, and then you open up your clone hero. So we're going to do that here. <clears throat> and now your guitar should work. So you hit your start button, select your profile, and then you can go into whatever you want to do. This is all done with the guitar here. Uh, if you're curious as to how to screw with your controls, just hit your space bar, and it should say X input game one. And if you want to calibrate all of your stuff... This is how you'd calibrate it. Uh, there's some way to do the right stick Y and X. It said in here, in this, that if you calibrate the uh, whammy and tilt, they're on X and Y. I don't know how to do that, but if you guys can figure it out, you guys can go ahead and calibrate the whammy and stuff. If not, uh, you can use your select button. So this button right here on your guitar will uh, trigger star power. Uh, as for whammy, it's not really necessary, honestly. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I hope that saves you guys a little bit of time and makes you not have to go into the Clone Hero Discord if you really don't want to, because in all honesty, some people just don't want to go into it. I mean, there's no need to if you're not looking to talk to people about Clone Hero, right? Anyway, guys, I hope that helps you out, and have yourselves a good night.